Hey guys, welcome back to Falcons RC, the home of the scale foamy jets. And this is how far we got our project last time. So right now what I'm gonna go, go ahead and do is uh, start working on the fuselage. I think I have an idea what I want it to look like, so I'm gonna see if I can pass it to the foam. So, okay guys, let's keep working on it. guys as you see here we have our final product uh, it actually turned out very nice uh, if you notice also I decided to go with a single vertical stabilizer instead of going with the two of them uh, I wanted to reduce some weight on it and this actually put me into a little bit of trouble right there because at first I was gonna put the vertical stabilizer sitting on the wings but then I decided to go with one so it actually have to be on the top of the right here of the plane and as you notice this was a hatch already so I was kind of thinking for a while how to do it and I decided that the best way to do it was going to be to split the rudder in half and glue half into the exhaust and the other half into the hatch and as you notice right there the, the rudder actually goes down into the foam right there so it's actually a very strong bond and the way I did it guys uh, it actually make this rudder very strong uh, probably stronger than the other ones I have built some other jets and as you notice the hatch is still there and I decided to put on the half, the, the, it's attached into the, ex, the, the hatch I put foam ADA on each side of it, uh, 3 millimeters foam ADA uh, and you see basically just a slot into that one right there and goes down uh, makes a very nice and tight bone right there and the rudder actually comes out with some sort of airfoil too so it didn't turn out very bad after all also I decided also to do, uh, as you notice right here 
I take the suggestions that you guys give me over there on the previous video, you know, and I did smooth out the intake. As you see, I put some 488 over there. And I also, the, the very intake, instead of hitting, when the article goes in here, instead of hitting this flat foam, you know, at the front of it, it's actually, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it have a, a curve right there. It goes far, about this far over here, about an inch to the front over here. And it's a start curving into the intake there. As you see, it's basically like half of the 70 millimeter CDF. And because I didn't think that was gonna be enough air, I decided to change my bottom. Uh, I was, the bottom right here, guys, uh, I was gonna do it all the way over here, uh, you know, uh, to, to make this thing basically even, top and bottom. But I decided to change it and leave some sort of an intake on the bottom tool right here. And also, this actually turned out very good because I'm not just getting more air into my EDF, uh, but actually I'm able to grab this jet right now from the bottom right here. So it's gonna be make a very nice hand launch on it. It's gonna be easy to grab. Instead of trying to grab it from the top over here, I can grab it now from the bottom, very nice and strong. Uh, also, the exhaust has been reduced. Uh, the intake is at 70 millimeters, but out here it's only 64. As you notice, I put a, another ring of, of this blue foam right here. Uh, it's not going all the way in, it's only half inch. It's only on the edge out here. Uh, this right here, guys, is 70 millimeters of a link. So from the fan, from the edge of the fan, into this point right here is 70 millimeters. Uh, the intake is a 70 millimeters, but the exhaust is only 64. And I'm actually getting 900 grams of thrust out of this jet, guys. So um, the jet only weighs 800 grams. So whenever I go full power, this thing is actually holding itself, pushing into my hand. But I know whenever I finish my thrust vectoring system, that is probably gonna be over 400 grams. So I'm gonna lose that power, but I think I'm gonna still have plenty of, of power basically to, to do some nice high speed. Uh, I hope this thing is gonna be fast, guys. So I hope it's gonna be a, a successful plan. Uh, so let's go outside guys, I'm ready to do the mini fly, so thank you for watching, subscribe, mini fly video coming soon.